Hello everyone and welcome to another oddschecker.com slash US preview of a primetime football game. My name is Davis Maddock from sportsgrid.com and we are here to talk about, of course, one of the most fascinating games of the year, the New England Patriots at the New York Jets. If you go to oddschecker.com slash US, you will see that the spread on this game is minus nine and a half in favor of the Patriots who are on the road. You can get them at the money line at minus 400 and the total for this game is 41 and a half. Uh, and I think, not surprisingly, I am going to be on the New England Patriots side of this game. I, I really think that it is basically impossible at this point for there to be a spread where I'm going to be wanting to bet on the New York Jets. If we take a look at DVOA, of course, the New York Jets are dead last. They are 45% worse than the league average team. They have the last ranked DVOA offense, the 26th ranked DVOA defense, and the 28th ranked special teams. But I don't even think that tells the whole story because they're actually even worse when Joe Flacco is the quarterback. They are the worst team in the NFL in terms of points scored. They've scored 40 points less than every other team. They have gained the fewest yards in the NFL. They have gained 0.4 less yards per play than every other team in the NFL. I mean, it really is sort of if a team would have to try to be this bad, honestly. I, I think that really the Jets are, uh, I either think the players don't like Adam Gase. I don't think that Adam Gase is a good play caller. Um, I know that there was maybe a little bit of hope that Dowell Loggins was going to be a better play caller than Adam Gase, and we saw some flashes of that when Sam Darnold came back, but now with Joe Flacco back under the center, I think that even a decrepit version of the New England Patriots, right? Not even a, not even a, a C plus version of the New England Patriots. I think that with Cam Newton's ability to rush with Damian Harris, I think that they're just probably going to run the ball 35 plus times. And what we've seen is in the second half, you know, Adam Gay's team, Sam Darnold, they, they don't have the urgency. They don't even want to cover the back door. They just kick field goals or punt. And, uh, you know, with that being said, uh, we are just going to go ahead and take the New England Patriots minus 9.5. I am also going to be betting the money line on this on this game. Most of the time, I don't bet those money lines, so I feel pretty confident in that. And I don't like the total either way in this game. I would slightly lean under on the total in this game, but I don't have an official selection there. So taking the Patriots on both the spread and the money line, uh, hope that was useful. Hope that was helpful and uh, good luck on your bets guys.